Hey, what's up, guys? Um, just got another little review to do today. Um, got some pickups. Okay, where do we start? Um, first off, my nephew has a couple of his toys, like the Tonka truck. You know, I gave him the the uh, garbage truck because I didn't necessarily like it. Um, so I do have the pickup truck in the uh, horse trailer. So, um, yeah, the, the top is metal, the bottom base is metal, uh, this is plastic, this yellow striping, um, this is plastic, it's, uh, light bar, you know, wheels, and obviously plastic, and the tires are rubber, this is all plastic, you know, it's light, so if you drop it, it's not going to break, but, you know, if you step, if somebody steps on it, you know, it could break, you know, Roll around the light. And um, I do have that delivery uh, express truck, that express delivery or whatever it was. Um, Oreos burrito, traveling Oreos burritos. Yes, it is a taco truck. Very cool. You couldn't see it on the other side because obviously the matchbox is pasted like that. But um, right here, here's like a door opening for like, you know, those taco trucks and then there's a menu on the back right here you can see that right there you can't really see the door like they it's just pasted on there with the uh, the uh, tampos and decos and all that and you got some vents down here so yeah it does not have the uh oh it, it has this door that opens still but it um in earlier models these doors on the sides they used to do the casting where um, the doors were open, now they're closed, they're still closed, but that's cool. Very cool taco truck, I like it a lot. Here's that fire truck, I did open it on my last video, but I was rudely interrupted, so kind of messed up the video, but there it is. Very nice. Very nicely done, you know, I really like it. Wheels match, you know, everything is just well done on it. Correct striping and tampos for it. Matchbox Super City Volunteer Fire Department number 62, Division 62. Cool. <coughs> Very cool, sorry. Um, I know a lot of you, um, there's been a couple guys have been asking me about this, um, so yeah, I opened it. My nephew has the uh, now Virginia Giant, but um, I have this one. So the now Virginia Giant basically, you know, looks like this. This is actually Excalibur, but you know, it looks like our normal monster grounds. But what they changed on it? Now they have a bed with these older ones. They have the light bar. They actually have an interior like a normal truck. It has a passenger seat and the driver seat. A little shifter on the floor. Um, and yeah, it just looks like it just has a lifted suspension, you know, it doesn't have the fancy suspension like our monster trucks do today, it has them of the back then, you know, suspensions that would break real easy, <laughs> so yeah. Time to reach. Stopped at Walmart on the way home today, um picked up, found, um, I stopped not at my local one, because my local one just does not get new stuff in that well, um, so finally just found the Baja Breaker, Goodyear, and we all know what he looks like, and then finally found the 70s Chevelle SS Wagon, we all know what he likes, and they had the, uh, motorcycles, so I got the Dodge Tomahawk, um, the rider is removable on it. Very cool. I um, really like the rider. Uh, the other ones I will be getting is the Ducati. I will be getting one for myself and one for my nephew. The DCC split back. Um, I will be getting him. Um, I'll probably wind up getting them all. I kind of feel like I would be getting them all. Um, so yeah, those are the other ones. They have like you know, like I said, DCC split back right bike, Dodge Tomahawk, Ducati, um, 1098R, then the Hot Wheels 450F. 
But yeah, very cool. Very glad to finally find one. They had them all there. And then now we are seeing a uh, new series of Defiant 4x4s. So I picked this one out. They did have them all. Um, they come in a new packaging, as you could tell. Um, this is raised. It says pow Defiance Power Over Everything 4x4 Motor Speed Gear Power Gear. So, yeah. Um, they are like $2 cheaper, but um, they do not include batteries. But that's fine, you know, because I get batteries free from work. So, yeah, you know, it looks like a. Um, like a Chevy Blazer, and very cool, um, but if you do need batteries, it comes with a coupon, which I probably will just wind up using just for the heck of it, um, they expire, uh, March 31st, 2013, so yeah, you got a while to use them, you see there's like a missing light cap over that one, um, they now put Defiance on the tires, which looks very cool. I like that. Um, this one has um, the exhaust tip sticking out the hood. Very nice. You know, not too overdone. Then on the back, which you guys will not be able to see. This is on the window. Yeah, you guys won't be able to see. It looks like somebody wrote, um, watch me. Not wash, watch. Like, watch him. Um, the other vehicles for... Um, they had that one, I, they had them all, I almost got this one, the Folsom, which is a pickup truck with, like, dual motors, um, I will be getting him next time, they only had one of each, though, but I should find him again, but I will be getting the Folsom, they have, mine is called Fredex, um, they have Twitch, which is a Defiance advertisement truck, they have Rich Tour, um, which is some fantasy looking vehicle. They have Crumpet, which looks like uh, what are those vehicles? Looks like one of those Nissan um, 4x4 SUVs. Then Big Sky, which is a like a bigger truck with a uh, monster stacks. It has like smoke stacks. So yeah, I will be getting the Folsom and probably Big Sky, the ones with the smoke stacks. They all have the um, the Defiance logo on the wheel. So yeah, this one is very cool. Like it a lot. And on, you can see like it has these little black fender things all around for all around the sides. Besides the back one, it's like lost. It looks like it looks like it may have came off. So yeah. All right. But that's it, you guys. And thanks for watching.